Hi guys, this is Greg from Deer Park Diesel. Uh, today we're going to talk for just a brief minute about the EGR cooler failure, the dreaded EGR cooler failure on the 6 liter Power Stroke. Behind me here I have a 2004 Ford Excursion with a 6 liter Power Stroke in it. EGR, if you didn't know, stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. Basic premise is to recirculate exhaust gases into the engine to protect the environment, less emissions. Good for the environment, bad for your engine. Uh, so the EGR cooler in a 6 liter looks like this guy here. We've actually taken a cross section so you can see uh, the basic idea. If coolant flows through one side of the EGR cooler or one passage, exhaust flows through the other. As you can see, these passages in here are very small, just like in a radiator. Thin steel, coolant flowing through the smaller half, exhaust flowing through the, the, the hot half. Uh, upstream from the EGR cooler is the actual culprit here. And when I say upstream, I mean that as in upstream in the coolant flow. This guy right here is the oil cooler, engine oil cooler out of the six liter. Uh, as you can see here, very similar design in how these coolant passages work. Coolant flowing through one side, oil flowing through the other side. As your coolant or your engine runs and the coolant flows through the system, it tends to build up sediment through a process called electrolysis. You can read more about that on Wikipedia. As that coolant builds up, it flows through the system. And when you run into these situations where you have very small passages, things tend to clog up. Well, that sediment buildup in here tends to restrict flow, and that is actually what causes your EGR cooler failure. As flow is restricted through the oil cooler, not enough coolant makes it to the EGR cooler, at which point the coolant passages in that cooler start to get hot because you have exhaust flowing through the other side, which is sometimes in excess of 1,000, even 1,200 degrees. If you don't have enough coolant flow through here, those passages get hot and that thin steel will rupture. At that point, whatever coolant does make it to the EGR cooler flows through the ruptured steel and into your exhaust. Now that exhaust is being recirculated back into the intake of the engine. So what you'll start to see is white smoke, a loss of power because that cool clean air that you're trying to get in the engine is now full of uh, coolant and uh, not great for your engine. In worst case scenario situation, what can happen is that coolant it flowing into the intake can actually build up to the point of what we call hydro lock, which is where it actually locks up the engine when a cylinder fills with coolant. Um, if you have an EGR cooler failure, the early signs you're going to see, white smoke, sometimes whitish blue smoke, a loss of power, a loss of coolant, um, truck may even go into limp mode. I would recommend getting this handled as soon as possible in a worst case scenario if your coolant, uh, if your EGR is ruptured like it is and you leave it sit overnight, that, that uh, coolant can actually fill up a cylinder and when you go to crank in the morning it can hydrolock. Worst case scenario, hydrolock can actually bend a rod. So don't put this off if, if at all possible. If you have any questions, please give us a call. We'd be happy to kind of run it down for you and give you your options on maybe upgrading or just repairing that system. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.